Hi YouTubers, this is Cindy, Palm Springs Cindy, and I'm here tonight to share what I think is a miracle, a miracle foundation fix that I have discovered, and I want to share it with you guys. Now, um, I shared this, I have used this on video before, but I, I never wore it. I shared it, I put it on for the first time, but I've been using it and wearing it and noticing what my foundation looks like as a result of this. So today I'm going, my face is clean, I have my moisturizer on, I have a little bit of residue of eyeliner on, and so we're gonna be working on setting my foundation with my new Miracle palette. Now it's the L'Oreal Infallible, and it has these crazy colors. And I didn't really understand the craziness of the colors, but now I do. And because I've been using this, I have not used primer, I have not used concealer, I have not had to use any illumination, like any kind of illuminator. And my foundation, I'm, I'm really low on foundation. In fact, my high-end foundation is gone, it's empty. And I've been mixing two drugstore foundations together. And I, I mean to tell you, I am loving what this is doing for my skin. So I'm gonna get started because I don't want, it to, want this to be all night. First off, let me just share that, the, I wrote this down, that the tan is to camouflage dark circles. The yellow is to combat dis, uh, discoloration. The green is, uh, is there to erase redness on my complexion. And the purple is there to brighten dull areas. This acts more as an illuminator. So this, um, this palette has just, it has taken away my pores. It is awesome. So what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be taking the green. Now each one of these is almost like a clay-like um, consistency, but once your body heat, once you start tapping it in and your body heat takes over, it begins to get more creamy. So by, it just, it looks crazy, but I'm going to put this in areas where I am red-ish. And, uh, and really kind of press this in. And I mean, once this is on, and before I put my foundation on, it just looks crazy. But once my foundation is on, it covers all these crazy colors and smooths out my complexion. Okay, that's about all I'm gonna do for that. Now I'm gonna get the, um, Let's see, the camouflage, let's, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, the tan that camouflages dark circles. And I'm also going to add some of the purple because this brings, helps dullness. So I want this under eye where I am dull. Look at this, it's like I'm a clown. But it all seems to work. And before I started using this, really using it, I was afraid of it. Okay. And then I do have some, uh, let's see, I've got my yellow. Uh, do I have my, I'm gonna, for discoloration, I've got some dark spots on my skin. And I'm gonna use that for my dark spot. And I have, I do have a couple darks, like broken veins right in there. Okay, I wanna really, 
half the heart of the eye. Pat it in up here. And um, I mean, it's the kind of thing where if I go, if I go use the restroom, like today I was playing bridge in a restaurant and I got up to use the restroom. I'd been there a couple hours. And, you know, you, I kind of checked my look in the mirror and my makeup looked great. So I was like, whoa, you know, this is another place where I was fond of my, my makeup. Okay, now look, I look like a clown. I'm gonna combine this infallible with this Lumi. And I'll put this, I'll put what I'm using down below. I'm gonna combine these together and daub these on my face. Let's see how this works. So I wanna get this in, looking for my little makeup brush over here. And um, after I get this in, or on, then I will do my, I'll put some eye makeup on to sort of finish my look. And mostly what I love is that it totally, my makeup stays on just like I, I just put it on. I don't, my under eye sunken inness does not look so apparent. And remember, that's not using, I have no, I'm not using shape tape. I'm not using any kind of a primer. It's strictly this. And I have uh, yellow undertones to my skin. Um, I'm olive complected. But I'm very yellow, so I tend to look better with a pink base blush because it sort of neutralizes my yellowness. Put this on. This is just a, a very light brown. I'm mostly excited about my my foundation. I'm going to get my warmth on, on my skin, and uh, it'll tie it all together. Ah, now I'm going to add a little bit of warmth. I'm going to use this with this nice dense brush. Um, the other night while I'm doing this, the other night I, um, well, it's been, it's been a couple weeks ago, but I, I forgot to tell you guys this story. I went to a nightclub after dinner with my husband, <laughs> that same girlfriend that I went out with on New Year's Eve. Uh, we wanted, she only gets into town every once in a while and she loves to go to Melvin's. So she wanted to go and I said I'd go with her. It was a Sunday afternoon. They have a great piano bar on Sunday afternoons. So we got there, we had eaten dinner there. And um, we were, we, it was early. So we were sitting at the piano bar. The guy was playing all these great tunes. Well, I saw this guy. Let me put my lipstick on. I, I just think that looks so pretty. I saw this guy that I thought I knew. <laughs> and I, I kind of looked at him, looked at him, and I thought, you know, how do I know him? Does he go to my church? Uh, does he play bridge sometimes where I play bridge? I didn't think anything else about it. I kind of forgot about it. Well... Then my friend came back from talking to somebody and she said, Cindy, that band, no doubt, is here. 
Well, Gwen Stefani was not there, but one of the guys from the band, that's who I kept looking at thinking, who is that guy? I think I, I, think I know him. Well, um, so I was like, I love No Doubt. And so, uh, of course, I had to go over Add my blush, my but I take a look at my maybe I put too much blush on. <gasps> uh, let's see here. Um, but look at my. I just, now this will stay like this all day. I'm gonna put a little of this Lumi on because I put, I put too much blush on my forehead. And okay, okay ladies, that's it. Um, I just really like the, you know, it went from total clown, green, purples, tan, to my foundation really gliding on. And I think it's the consistency of that total color because it's like a clay. And by the time that is pressed into my skin, then when my, um, when my foundation goes on top of that, I think it, it all it like mixes with the with the heaviness of the color corrector and it and it just sort of all blends and gels together so okay you guys this is Cindy my and uh, my video is running a little bit long so I don't want to I don't want to take up too much more of your time I want to finish telling you about this um, about the band member that I met at Melvin's at that nightclub his name was, I think, Eric Canal, and he, that was his wife, because I did just Google him. And he, um, anyway, he was very nice. He was, I, you know, I said he was thrilled to give me a picture, but I think he was a little bit flattered that someone asked him for a picture, because when, I, when someone took our picture, of course, the flash went off, and then everybody was like, who's that, who's that? And they weren't saying that about me. So, because he looked kind of rock and roll-ish. And so, anyway, it was fun. And I, if I can get that picture, I'll attach it to this video. So, anyway, this is Cindy Singh. Uh, until our next conversation. Bye-bye.